This is the sixth bowl in the past seven years for the Ohio Bobcats, but the 12-hour ride down to the Camellia Bowl is nothing compared to the four-month season that came before. The Bobcats started off the season with three wins, including a 21-10 win over Marshall in the battle for the Bell. Senior quarterback Darius Vick left the Marshall game with an injured elbow, which was the beginning of a rash of quarterback injuries. The Bobcats cycled through Vick, J.D. Sprague, and Greg Windham at the position at different points throughout the year. The Bobcats suffered their first loss in Week 4 on the road at Minnesota, where a late Golden Gopher touchdown put Minnesota ahead, and a controversial delay of game call on the potential game-tying field goal sealed the loss. Two straight wins over Akron and rival Miami improved Ohio's record to 5-1. However, it would take the Bobcats another month to record their sixth win to become bowl eligible. Three straight losses by a combined score of 152-55 followed those two wins. It didn't help that star middle linebacker Quentin Poling missed four games, including the three losses in the middle of the year. Ohio returned to their winning ways throughout November and closed out the season with three wins in a row, including an upset victory over Northern Illinois in the regular season finale. Now in Alabama, the Bobcats will meet 10-2 Appalachian State in what would be the Mountaineers' first bowl game in program history after moving to Division I before last season. Our football crew is headed down to Alabama, and you can follow along with us using the hashtag CameliaCats on Twitter and also on Facebook at Bobcat Sports Showcase. For WOUB Sports, I'm Sean Neidig.